Good morning children. Welcome to my today's class. Today I shall start with the first lesson of PUC second year. Actually it's a poem Romeo and Juliet. So the first poem Romeo and Juliet is written by William Shakespeare is written by the poet William Shakespeare. To tell you about the poet, William Shakespeare is an English poet and a playwright. He is regarded as the greatest writer in English language. Coming to the poem, the po in the poem, the story is about two noble families the Capulets and the Montagues. Both uh, are rival rivalry families, enemy, enemy families. They are, they are having enmity between them. And uh, the city mentioned in this poem is Verona. The city mentioned is Verona. Romeo belonged to the Montagues family and uh, Juliet belonged to the Capulet family. So both belonged to two, two different families who were in enmity, rivalry. Romeo was in love with Rosaline, who was of the Capulet family, but uh, it was a one-sided love. Rosaline did not love Romeo. It was Romeo who was in love with Rosaline. One day it so happened that the Lord of Capulet's family had arranged a party, a supper party. Uh, Romeo had been there in disguise to see Rosaline. He had been there in disguise because nobody should come to know that uh, the person from the enemy family has come. He goes in disguise. He goes in disguise because nobody should recognize him as he was from the rivalry family that is the enemy family. We already know there was an immunity between the Capulets and the Montague families. Okay. When uh, Romeo goes there, he happens to see Juliet for the first time. He sees her on the dance floor and is uh, fascinated, attracted by her beauty. Juliet was beautiful. So Romeo was attracted towards her beauty. He compares her beauty to nature and explains it in his own way and that is explained in the first paragraph of this present poem. Okay. Now, after the dance, there was an arrangement for a dance and after the dance, Romeo comes to know that Juliet is the daughter of Lord Capulet family, Lord Caplet's family. On the other hand, Juliet also feels attracted to this man Romeo, who belonged to, to the enemy family because Romeo was from the Montague family. But love knows no rivalry, love knows no enmity. Both fall in love with each other. Now uh, Romeo forgets Rosaline, he is in love with Juliet. How Romeo explains the beauty of Juliet is given in the first paragraph. So the first four lines of the poem. Oh, she doth teach the torches to burn bright. It seems she hangs upon the cheek of night as a rich jewel in an Ethiopian's ear. In, as a rich jewel in an Ethiop's ear, beauty to rich for use, for earth too dear. Here Romeo says, Juliet is so beautiful that she teaches the torches to burn bright, to burn brighter. He refers to the torch light lit in the party. He says, her beauty is more bright than the torchlight 
and it seems that the brightness of her beauty can be seen on her cheeks at night when she dances on the floor she was so beautiful so bright so he is comparing her beauty to the torch light he further refers juliet's beauty to the rich jewel that is worn by the ethiop who is an ethiop and african women so they wear a particular type of jewelry he refers to that jewelry here he compares juliet's beauty to the rich jewel juliet's beauty shines like a jewel comparison between her beauty and the jewel is made further romeo says that she is too beautiful to live on this earth she is extraordinary her beauty is extraordinary beauty she is not fit to live on this earth she is so beautiful coming to the next four lines of the first paragraph so shows a snowy dove trooping with the crows as wonder lady as yonder lady over her fellow shows the major dun i will watch her place of stand and a touching has made blessed my rude hand what does he say here romeo compares juliet to a snowy dove snowy dove in the sense white dove she was so pure white the other ladies on the dance floor are referred to as the crows according to romeo juliet is like a snowy dove others are like crows so his juliet is a white dove among the black crows here her beauty is highlighted among all on the dance floor major here means dance so when the dance is over romeo wants to know where juliet goes that is her place of stand he wants to meet her touch her hand he says that by doing so he will be blessed by doing so he'll be blessed he compares her hand to a blessed one her hand is a blessed hand because she was so beautiful and his to be a rude hand so when he touches her hand his rude hand too will become a blessed one that is why he wants to touch juliet's hand the last two lines of the first paragraph did my heart love till now for swear it sight for i never saw true beauty till this night the last two lines of the first paragraph here romeo questions himself he asks a question to himself if his heart loved anyone so much till now he says he swears that he had never seen such a beauty he had never felt this love earlier for anyone earlier he loved rosaline he had never felt this love for her but now he is he feels so special love for juliet and this is both sided so he forgets completely about rosaline now so in the first paragraph we can see how romeo compares juliet's beauty to different things like the torch light the rich jewel the snowy dove and so on hope you all have understood the first paragraph coming to the second paragraph of the poem here juliet expresses herself and her feelings for romeo we can see this in act 3 scene 2 of the play act 3 scene 2 of the play uh, here romeo is not allowed to enter the city verona he is not allowed to enter the verona city because both are in enmity both the families are in enmity so what he does is he enters the city at night because he had he has to meet juliet 
so he enters the city at night and meets juliet juliet waits for the night to come as she can meet romeo because romeo will come only in the night day time he cannot come because he will be caught by the enemies so he prefers meeting juliet at night so juliet eagerly waits for the night to come the first four lines of the second paragraph come night come romeo come thou day in a night for thou wilt lie upon the wings of night whiter than the new snow on a raven's back come gentle night come loving black browed night so here juliet requests the night to come soon she says romeo comes like a day in the night for her in the night romeo is like he is bringing the daylight he is like a day in the night juliet says romeo will come at night sitting on the wings of night so here night is personified as a bird he sits on the night on the wings of the night means he sits on the wings of the bird so night and bird personified she says as a snow that has fallen on a raven's back shines raven is a black bird so when snow falls on the black bird it is visible means clearly we can see that snow on the black bird so it shines similarly romeo shines when he comes in the night she says snow that is fallen on a raven's back shines so shines her romeo when he comes in the night juliet loves night because romeo comes at night so she says gentle to this night she uses the word gentle soft night because her uh, romeo comes at night she says night you are like black brow the eyebrow brow we say na no? like eyebrows because the night protects romeo from the enemies here see children as the eyebrows protect your eyes similarly the night is protecting romeo from the enemies so it is uh, so the night is referred to as black browed next five lines of the second paragraph give me my romeo and when i shall die take him and cut him out in little stars and he will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with night and pay no worship to the garish sun see here very interesting juliet requests the night to give her romeo to give her romeo to her and when she dies she wants the night to take him and cut him into little stars and put them up in the sky she says he would make the heaven of sky so bright she says romeo as a person brought a day in the night and he would surely bring brightness by sparkling like a star in the sky see her views and her feelings towards romeo lastly juliet says the whole world will fall in love with the night as the stars would be more beautiful here who are the little stars now with the other stars romeo it is her imagination stars are more beautiful because the imagination is romeo cut into little stars so she says stars would be more beautiful than ever juliet says that people in the world would pay no more attention to the bright sun of the day they would no more worship 
द सन ऑफ द डे पीपल वुड ओनली ऑब्जर्व द ब्राइट ब्यूटिफुल स्टार्स एट नाइट जूलियट विश इज रोमियो टू बी इमोटल and shine like a bright star forever hence ends the poem these are the two extracts from the play romeo and juliet hope you all have understood this poem do like share and subscribe thank you